Good morning, folks. Sunday morning. I'll come down and do a bit of paperwork and have a little tinker while I'm here. I've got uh, the bonnet unhung from uh, getting that painted yesterday. It's come up quite nicely, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, paperwork sorted. We'll uh, just mark out a template for this cab while I'm here and then, uh, yeah, we'll leave it. It's getting towards Christmas, so I'll still carry on doing a bit. But anyway, thank you for your comments, likes, etc. from yesterday's video. Much appreciated. Uh, keep the emails coming with your uh, serial numbers and where you are. We'll uh, keep adding to the list. So, uh, yeah, let's do a bit of work. Yeah, I've got you see it in all its glory now from yesterday's uh, painting efforts. It's, um, yeah, not a bad finish, even if I say so myself. So, the other bits were unhung now, they've been put away. So, uh, that can stay there now, and then we can yeah, deal with it next week. There we go, as we did yesterday with that one. Bit of paper taped over there, just cut around with the standing nice. We've got an approximate template. So I'll take it off, trim it up, and mark it out on a piece of steel. And offer it up and see if it uh, will fit. There we go, a bit of fettling and a little bit of trimming. We've got that one to uh, fit in the hole. Just nicely. There we go, that's all welded in. Just plug welded these few little holes here. So we'll uh, have a tack of that tomorrow and get that all that ground down. I've just folded up a new bit of steel here, ready for the, uh, the cover for the top of the battery box strip. strip. So we'll get that cut off tomorrow, because that's pretty well had it. And I'll see some missing, so new bit folded, ready to uh, get welded on there. That'll do for today. Not bad show for a Sunday morning. Morning, folks. Monday morning. Hope you all had a good weekend. I've been down there, usual Monday morning, load of paperwork, but we've been uh, doing a bit on the old cab, grinding and a bit more welding. So, um, yeah, thank you for your comments and likes over the weekend. Uh, soon be Christmas. And, uh, yeah, hope you all have a good time yeah, then. This morning, yeah, we've got the rubbish ground off here. New drip strip put on there. Got all the welds ground down that I did Saturday, Sunday morning, I think. Tidied up, so... We'll get that white toe, a bit of primer on there. And um, yeah, we can probably get the thing stood back up now. Ready for the next stage. It's like bonnet's obviously done, all covered up. So yeah, but look at this. Me, me magnet, straight edge magnet. I've been grinding. You can see all the, uh, the filings all um, standing up like little trees. Look at that. We'll fall down, we'll stand it up again. We've got the cab backs up right way up now. I'll do a little bit more on there. And now we'll tackle the um, around the windscreen. Chop these bits out here that have had it all across the bottom there. And up the side there. So let's get busy with the grinder. Chop it out and set some new bits in. You can see, it's, um, it has had it, but we'll make it good. There, it's a dirty old job cutting out metal, but it's all cut out, cleaned it back. A bit up the side there, a bit down there. So we've got some new strips cut. Just tack it in and hopefully it'll all uh, line up. But oh, I am feeling very dirty and bit. I've got a state of the floor. I think I'll just tidy this up and have a brush up before I start welding that lot. Well, that hasn't gone too bad. Nice new bit of steel in the bottom of the window there. Welded in both sides. And it's, it's pretty straight as well. I can't grumble at that. All welded across the back there. So I'll just get the grinder on and tidy that a little bit up there. So yeah, pleased with that. Then we've just got the two side bits to sort out next. There we go. We've got a new bit in the side there. Another bit put in the side of there we've just chopped out the three bad bits that are in here and chopped a bit of metal up to suit tacked in so we get those welded in ground back and I say that one there drop the C but that's pretty straight on that and that's not too bad on that one and after that I think that's all the welding on this cab done about time two and I feel absolutely minging dirty the grind and weld. I've already brushed up several times this morning and look at the state of it. Grust 
dirt everywhere. Got a delivery from Daff. This is not for that Daff, this is for another one. New gear stick because the ball joint has had it and it's fallen out through the floor and all the various parts for uh, getting it fitted and a cable for the passenger door because it's broken apparently. So that's a job for later in the week. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. A man coming out to program the ECU on that uh, DAF out there, which would be good to get that one wrapped up and gone. Now, fingers crossed, it works. Anyway, I've had enough for the day. I feel absolutely disgusting dealing with that thing. So I'm going to call it a day. Go out and get cleaned up. Morning. What a Tuesday morning. And it's peeing down the rain outside. What I've done this morning is paperwork, boxing up parts. We've got two hydraulic pumps to go off to Sweden. And we're just getting the uh, all the window seals and rubbers up together. And other bits and pieces for Father Phil. So uh, just got one more electrical component to get hold of. And just waiting for me man to bring back the uh, the dash wiring loom so we can get that in a box and get that away to him so uh, yeah we'll see what happens for the rest of the day probably a bit of a tidy up in a minute and uh, yeah don't do much outside work but hopefully they'll be here for doing the daft later today get that uh, programmed and fingers crossed it'll be gone hopefully so we've just got uh, picked up the fittings for here to go for the pipe to the uh, quick release couplings we got those fitted in and so clips on there. They're all functioning as they should. We have in my pocket somewhere got some pluggy things. So they will fit in the holes and uh, they can be uh, fitted up and bolted on underneath there to stop the crap getting in the holes. So another little bit done on the 1200. So we can probably now um, start putting some of the covers on the back. We got uh, these bits and pieces fitted in. And a little bit more done. Look at that. Starting to come together, slowly and surely. So just waiting for a shaft for the housing for that, which has been made. So let's uh, say so we got 21 spline on that. Just obviously a thousand output on this, but we're going to have a 540 on the end, so it's a bit more usable, and it'll still look authentically right, rather than some, you know, adapter thingy that looks like it's just bolted on. And there we go. We got the dash wiring loom just turned up <coughs> for Farmer Father Phil's 1200. Got the original plugs on there. So uh, yeah, another bit for the box. Just got one more bit to get, which hopefully has been delivered at home. So we've got loads of goodies in there for him. Right, we've got the battery cable in there. More clamp on there, the uh, metal sheath to go through the chassis, Ooh, all the way back there. And then we get the last of the bolts, uh, nuts in, on the cab mounting ones. And I can see what David Curry said, because this was his job back in the day. And it's a horrible job trying to get in there. You're led down, you're twisting and going. But we get those tightened up. And a bit more done. We've got the copper metal pipes in here ready for the diff lock. Got the supply, uh, one going down to the valve, your supply and your return. So, uh, yeah, plodding away. It's crawling and uh, got one more to do there, that one there, and those two up there. So uh, let's uh, bend myself double and get in there. Oh, that was a bugger. Chap from Daft turned up. He got it, he walks, he said, I fucked up. Oh. He said, I got halfway here, well, nearly here, and realised I hadn't brought the right connecting lead to plug into the truck. Oh well, it's happened to the best of us, so hopefully he'll be back out tomorrow morning with the right lead for the computer to plug into it. So I've been just plodding away, I've got the uh, rear cover bit on there, just bolted on, it's led down out the way at the minute, so uh, I'll quick tidy up, uh, I'll do for the day. Tomorrow's a whole new day again. So, on that note, Thanks for watching. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, share. Much appreciated. Hit us with some comments. And uh, yeah. Oh, don't forget. If you've got an email, uh, anyone with 1200, 1250, send me an email with your uh, location and your serial number. The list is growing. I had another one last night. So on that, thank you very much. Laters.